Happy Wednesday. How are you guys tonight? It is Jennifer Kirk. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from Guelph, Ontario. And we are going to make this super cute um, shadow box diorama card. You see, it's just, it's really neat. Fits into a regular size envelope. It just folds in and uh, super cute, super easy. And it's a fun fold card. So we're gonna do this tonight and we're gonna use the Penguin Place. Um, this is a bundle that's in the in the new uh, July to December mini catalog and it is super, super, super cute. I am loving playing with this. So it's a punch, it's a Penguin Builder punch as well as uh, this really cute stamp set. So if you're looking for it in the catalog, it is on page 33. There's lots of neat little sentiments. It's good for birthdays. It's good for Christmas. It's good for just winter scenes. So it's really versatile and uh, and super adorable. I just love it. Like look at look at how cute these guys are. And to top it off, um, I don't even have a copy of it here. Where is it? Right now, it is celebration time. And they have a coordinating DSP in celebration. So you can earn this DSP um, for uh, with any purchase of $60 before tax and shipping. You can choose this as one of your free items. And I'm going to see if I have my open pack. I just got this one today. I do have an open pack. I should have had it out. Let's see if I can find it. It's a well-loved cut up one, but I'll show you some of the show you some of the papers in it. So look at the look at how adorable these are. So you can just cut these out with scissors or you can use them as a whole card front. Um, there's different things on the back. I'm not organized. I should have had all of this organized for you. Uh, we're using this paper tonight. Um, but look at look at the tobogganing and this little snowman. Oh, it's just so adorable. So this stuff is free. And really, like look at how many how many things that you can just cut out and make cards just with some cardstock and this paper. Okay, so this is free from celebration. Lots of cute colors, lots of cute patterns. You can see I've been cutting out lots. Um, just a really fun, fun DSP. So perfect for winter. Um, really cute, really nice things on the background. Love the color palette on this. So, all right. Now that I was totally disorganized, that's a good start. You guys are going to see how disorganized I am tonight. It's just been one of those days. All right. So let me get my iPad set up so I can see if anyone is leaving comments. And then we will get started. Just give me one moment. Um, hey, Debbie. How's the weather in North Carolina? We are... Uh, oh, I just turned off comments. We are in a heat wave up here. It's pretty hot. Pretty muggy. All right, let me put all this stuff to the side. So again, we are going to... Be making this super cute card so you can see I used um, uh, I used some of the DSP here that we cut out and then I did some stamped images with uh, the stamp so this one is also cut out from the DSP so hey Linda how are you it started to rain here all right so let's get started I'm just gonna put that aside so I remember <laughs> I remember what card we're doing. I'll put all the measurements down when I go in and update this post. Um, so you don't have to worry about writing them down if you wanna if you wanna follow along. Hey Sharon, how's it going? So we're gonna do this same card, but we're gonna do it just with some different DSP and a different color scheme and see which one we like better. So we are going to use the fresh freesia. So you need two pieces of the cardstock. One, this piece here is the back. And it measures at six by four and a quarter. And you're gonna score them at half inch at each side. Okay, so that's six, four and a quarter, half inch, half inch. 
Then the second piece, and this is our back, and so these pieces here are gonna fold up, okay? And then this is our front, and our front measures um, five and a half by four and a quarter, and you're gonna score at a quarter of an inch on each side. And those are gonna fold in the opposite direction. My thing seems to be frozen. It's not came, coming up. Uh-oh, the box got battered. Oh no, was the order okay inside the box? I hope so. If not, um, let me know and I'll call you after and we'll, uh, I'll let you know how we sort that out, okay? Um, but I'm glad you got your order, that's awesome. Um, I've heard a couple of people that ordered through UPS. It's, there's been a little bit of a delay, so. Um, okay, and then we need a piece of DSP and the DSP is uh, five by four and a quarter. And we're actually gonna go and we're gonna glue this down right now, right in the middle. Because we're gonna be cutting out a window, we don't wanna put glue everywhere because you don't really wanna get glue on your dies. So I do, um, so I am just gonna put glue around the outside. And the dies that I'm gonna use to cut it out are the stitch ring rectangle dies. I can't even speak tonight. Oh my goodness. You've not opened the box yet. What? You have to open your box, Linda. Open it and uh, and make sure everything's okay. Sometimes these delivery people are not gentle with our precious, our precious stuff. Okay, I'm hearing my iPad. I gotta turn the volume down. Wrong way, hold on. There we go. All right, so now that this is glued down, all we're gonna do is take a stitched rectangle die and we're gonna place it in the middle, run it through our stamp and cut and emboss machine and cut out the window. So I'm gonna just do this off of the screen so that you guys don't have to see it shake. Just let me center it and run it through. Hopefully it's centered. Oh. really need to get new plates. Oh no, it's crooked. Oh well. I'll just blame it. I'll just say I was drinking wine. So all we want to do is cut out the window and you can use these two pieces on another card. So set those off to the side because we didn't put glue on them. Um, they come apart and they're awesome. All right. So how this goes together, let me get this down, is we're going to simply glue these just like this. So the front panel is gonna go on the inside at the edge, just like that, okay? And then this one is gonna go here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna touch one side. I'm not gonna to touch the other side because we wanna build up the scene on the inside. Actually, I lied. This one you can keep, and this one we're gonna put in as the backdrop underneath, okay? So we are gonna use that one. All right, so I would use, you could use glue if you want, um, but I am going to use my Stamp and Seal Plus because I can fold this over. So let's get my sheet. And I'm just gonna put some adhesive right on the edge here. Oh. Oh, the stuff is so strong that sometimes it rips. All right, let's get it started. It's gonna give me trouble tonight, isn't it? This stuff is um, correlated. Cor I can't even say the word. I cannot speak tonight, so guys, I apologize. It's just one of those times. So you can see all the little cuts in here. So it makes it a little bit pliable. So all I'm gonna do is stick it around and fold it so that it's here. Now it's not a big deal to do this, but um, I'm just gonna do it to keep it neat. 
And then all we're going to do is line this up inside, corner to corner, okay, and attach. So line it up. This stuff sticks, so you want to make sure it's lined up before you push it down so you can pull it off if you need to. Okay, so corner to corner. All right, I really need to get to the optometrist. <laughs> I can't see with my glasses on and I can't see with my glasses off. So there we go. We have the one side of the frame done. See how neatly it fits together. And then we're going to do the same on this side, but we're going to wait a little bit. We're going to we're going to decorate first. Um and the reason is, is because I want to be able to get inside and get my fingers in there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to glue this down. So I'm just going to use uh, liquid glue so that I have a couple of seconds to move it and get it lined up. Okay, so I want it to be fitting right in this um, window. Okay, I can't be right on top of that. Let me lift it up a little bit. I'm not right on top of the camera, so I'm never going to get it straight. There we go. Okay, so you just, the liquid glue gives you a little bit of wiggle room, so you can wiggle it around. So that's the first thing we're going to do, and now we're just going to build our scene. So all I did here for the snow is I just took some basic white cardstock. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, you, you do eventually want it at your width. I just cut it whatever so I can build my snow I'm gonna put one right up against the top okay and I'm gonna put one inside so I think that, that looks good there so I can come in and I can trim this so this whole card here is five and a, it's five and a quarter no it's five sorry it's five wide so I'm just gonna bring in my little mini trimmer here and I am going to, of course, it's not going to cut at five because it's not going to tell me that it's five. So I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use my trimmer. And I'm going to line it up at five and I'm going to give it a cut. Now, for the snow banks, you guys can just rip it. You don't have to cut it. Um, I did use a die just because I had it and it's easier me but I use the die um, from the inspiring canopy die sets and I just use this to make the hill just this line here but it's simple you can just rip it as well you don't need a die okay and so we're gonna cut this one two five as well all right and I hope you guys are having an awesome week. It's going by fast. I can't believe that se September, I want to trim it a little bit more. I'm not paying attention. Um, I can't believe that September is like right around the corner. Back to school time. That's crazy, eh? Crazy. It feels like the summer's just starting and now it's almost over. All right. Craziness. Where's the time going? All right, so I want my. This is going to be our backdrop one. And then this one I want up at the front. And we're going to have our little penguin coming down the hill. Okay, so I want this. I want to make sure that it's small enough. Yep. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on either side and the bottom and we're going to just glue it right in the top. Do you see why I kept it open? Because <laughs> I'm not coordinated. Some people who are coordinated would be able to do it closed, but not me. Not me. Okay. So this is a really cool um, card fold and it's beautiful to make like Christmas scenes. You can do trees in the back, houses. There's that um, new stamp set with the cabin. I can't wait to try this, this type of fold with the cabin. I think that'd be really cool. All right, and then I want this one just to be up a little bit. So 
I think right there. I'm going to put this one flat um, in the back so I can put glue everywhere. And nope, I don't want it up that high. I want it down. So again, the liquid glue is nice, even though I'll make a mess here because I can move it to where I want it. So that looks about good. So I have two, two hills here. Um, I've done a bunch of pre-cutting and pre-stamping. I'm just losing all my pieces. So we can build our scene without you having to watch me fussy cut because all of these are fussy cut. Um, but we will do the one guy, the one penguin. Okay, who loves the penguins? Have you guys seen the stamp set? It is so, so cute. So we are, so we just need a scrap piece of paper, which I had some, what did I do with it? You should see my desk outside of this camera. It is a crazy mess. All right, this wasn't my scrap, but we will use it as scrap. Um, so I'm gonna just, I'm using Memento ink. And because these are photopolymer stamps, you do want, um, I can always get this mixed up. So I want him, I want him to go this way. Um, you do want to have a little cushion underneath, okay, so that you can get a good imprint. Um, otherwise, because they don't have the foam on them, um, if you don't have a little bit of a cushion, then you may not get a good transfer of the ink. Okay, so we've got our little penguin, and then we need some pumpkin pie for his feet, or her feet, I'm not sure. I don't know how to tell if it's a boy or a girl penguin, do you guys know? Okay, he's going to be sitting on his behind. I really need to re-ink my uh, stamp, and then his cute little nose. So there's so many different things. Like I could put a bow tie, I could put a bow tie, a hat, a purse, um, a heart. So there's lots of little things that you can build on your on your little penguins. It's just adorable. And then we can punch him or her out. I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl, so let's just punch it. So you just want to line it up and this punch, you know, the DSP that I showed you at the beginning, this punch actually punches out some of the images on the DSP too. So how cool is that? Stamping up thinks of everything, I tell ya. All right, so now we're ready. We're ready to play. So I'm going to put this guy in the back up just like that. Okay. Um, so let's just glue it down with some glue. So what do you guys think of this fun fold? Do you think it's cute? Are you going to try it? I hope you try it. If you try it, um, post it on my, on my page and share. Get some inspiration going. All right. So building a snowman. And then we're going to have this one coming down the, the hill at the beginning. So we only want to put a little bit of glue on the bottom because we don't want it to be stuck to the back layer. Okay, so we're gonna put this one right about here. And then we're gonna put this one at the front corner. Cute, eh? Hey Connie, how are you? Oh, don't do, I just got distracted. You don't do what I just did. Let me get a, a dry baby wipe here. You don't want glue on the whole person, on the whole person, on the whole penguin. Oh, I'm making a mess. I like to make messes. So, oh, actually, you know what? I lied. Glue is good everywhere on this one. It is not a worry whatsoever. So you could embellish this, you could put all kinds of sparkle, glimmer. Uh, what I did on this one <laughs> is I put some of the um, shimmery crystal effects just to give it a, a little snow. Um, you can do different kinds of embellishments, all that kind of stuff. 
So what do you think? Do we want antlers on them or just a scarf? Maybe just a scarf, eh? The antlers look kind of funny on this. There is a red um, nose that you could put a Rudolph, so you can make a Rudolph penguin. How cute is that, eh? Love it. These are just fun. Fun, fun, fun. All right. So now we're gonna attach this. So let me, if I can find what I did with my sheet. Oh my goodness, you should see my desk. You should see it. it the tornado has come through my craft room. Okay, again, just fold these up. Uh, this adhesive is amazing. There we go. And it looks kind of funny, eh? Doesn't matter how it looks on the inside. Okay, and then we just want to make sure this is nice and burnished. And then you want to line it. And we want to make sure this is burnished too. And line up the corners. It's really important to get the bottom ones lined up so that it will stand on your table or on the mantle so that people can display. And there you go. Cute, eh? Let's see, I have a mat underneath here, which is why I won't stand up. Now, the only thing that we need to do is the sentiment. So I just took one of these little label things from, which die set was that? It was the Tasteful Labels. And I'm just gonna do a thank you. Um, Again, there's birthday sentiments, there's Christmas sentiments, there's some really cute little punny things. I am, well, Connie, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit uh, brain dead today, so I'm not making too much sense in my video. So hopefully you guys can follow. You know, when you get so overtired, you get a little giddy. Hopefully my head's not in the way of the camera trying to get it over top so I'm just using fresh freesia so it matches with the paper and I'm just gonna stick that down and this will fit into a regular envelope which is perfect you don't have to give Canada Post or your postage company extra money to mail it and then there's no, as you can see, there's no place to write a message, right? So we can put a message on the back. So all you need is a piece of, um, not this size. <laughs> this was my, this was my scrap. Um, all you need is a piece of, um, I don't know, maybe four and three quarters. I'm just going to take a chunk off. That'll fit. I just eyeballed that. I can measure it for the video, or for the measurements underneath. Um, and then this is where you can put your inside sentiment and decorate that as you want. So I'm actually going to use, hope your day is fantabulistic. Fabulous and fantastic all in one. So this stamp set is actually a host um, during celebration. If you have, if you host a party or if you place an order of $375 in Canada before tax and shipping, then you get this in your words for free. And there's some really cute sayings on here. Uh, so we're going to use this one. I just got this today, so I'm very excited to try it. So let's stamp this guy. And I think I'm going to, I cut out this little penguin. Um, I think we're going to put him right there. And oh no, I got ink on it. How did I do that? Oh, and I got ink there. Okay, we're gonna pretend we're gonna glue this on here. Um, don't step when you have dirty hands. Look at me, I have dirty. That's where I got ink from. And that's it. So, how cute is that? Um, I did miss this little birdie here. Let's.
close my stamp set before I get it all in my hands. And we can have him coming off the edge. So he stole the uh, the snowman's um, hat there. So you can either do this with a glue dot or I'm just going to use glue. I'll just have to hold it here for a second to get it to stick. So you can build different dimensions. You can do more than just um, two layers. You could put a third layer in here and build that scene up as well. So it's really cool. I like it. I think it's a fun, fun, fun full color. Which one do you like better? Do you like the blue or the fresh freesia? Let me know. Leave a comment on the video. Let me know which is your favorite. And um, I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing week. So. I have a uh, fun full Christmas class, or not a Christmas, fun, not a Christmas class. I have a fun full class. There are Christmas cards in it, uh, but there's also birthday as well that is featuring this penguin place. So the last day to register for that is next week. Um, so if you live in Canada and would like to take that class, the stamp set is included in this in the class fee. So um, reach out to me and I can send you the registration form. And this is one of the cards that we will be making in that class. And there's three other cards and all of them are Funfold featuring this stamp set. So um, what else? For those of you that don't know, Celebration is on, which means you earn free stuff with uh, purchases of, of $60 or more. Um, that is lasts until September and there's also a, an amazing joining bonus um, uh, promotion right now during celebration so it's only during celebration um, and you get a free bundle which is amazing so not only do you get the starter kit for $135 um, with no shipping and in most provinces no tax but you also get, and you get to choose $165 worth of stuff, and you get a free paper pumpkin, and you now get a free bundle, and that's only during celebration. So if you want more information, let me know. Otherwise, have an amazing, amazing week, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.